Greetings. So I'd like to give you an update on the drone project. So first of all, when we first started this project, we had the vision of the drone taking a person on a trip around the entire manor property and the passenger would have the opportunity of seeing all the attractions, all the businesses that are a part of the world. So first of all, let me show you how that went. And so as you can see, I'm not moving my hands or anything. There's my bot down there. And you can tell how as I move, it kind of pushes me along. I don't, you can see the vibration of the drone. And so this is what it's like. I can move around in here. And just so you can see, I am not in fly mode. I mean, this feels cool. Flying over the stage. Imagine if there was a concert going. And the drone would just be flying over. Maybe there's a pool party. So when we started this project, we had a vision. Um, the vision was to allow a person to um, enter the drone and fly around the entire property and fly past all of the attractions. And the entire trip was supposed to last one, maybe two minutes. It was supposed to be fun and entertaining. This project has taught us a lot about Altspace VR mostly about some of the limitations. Let's just think about like a regular object. If you pick up an object in all space, especially if you're in VR, if you grab an object and try to move with it, if you notice, you'll see that it, it kind of vibrates. Like there's some vibration. There's a vibration either um, that you experience from your avatar or it's coming from the object that you're holding. It's difficult to tell sometimes precisely, but the thing is, is that there is like a vibration. I think that that vibration is due to an object wanting to stay still, okay? And then what happens is when we move, we force that object to move with us. Now, I think the, the reverse is kind of happening when it comes to this drone. So the first thing that leads to a reduction of experience is that as the drone is moving is having to force movement of the avatar and that's creating like a vibrating effect that vibrating effect is unpleasant so um, flying around the entire property with that vibration is, is, is not going to be a pleasant experience for most people. And when we add on top of it, how slow it has to go. So first of all, when we, when we originally, when we first built this, and even if you see some of the uh, older videos that I made, you'll see the drone kind of whizzing around the world. <sighs> yeah, that didn't, that didn't work out well. So in order to actually make the avatar stay in the carriage while the drone goes up and then starts flying we had to put these colliders around the drone and then um, what happens is the collider forces the avatar to stay inside now you'll notice that in reality, like um, even though when you're inside the drone, to people outside the drone, they can see that you're being kind of dragged. You're being dragged along. Um, it's not like you're safely contained inside of the inside of the uh, carriage. You're being, you're really being dragged along. And so, um, 
And that's because the collider is keeping you attached to the drone. But uh, the drone is able to keep, the, the collider is able to keep you in there as long as the drone is going slow enough. So after days and days and days of fine tuning the speed, the speed that we've been able to settle on that actually allows you to stay in the drone for the whole trip without falling out, that speed is so slow that it takes almost 10 minutes to make it around an area that would take you less than two minutes to walk if you were to just walk around it. So we had to severely reduce the flight path. And when it was all said and done, I just decided that at this time, this project is not going to be realistic to put inside the public main world. So we don't have a drone in the main world, but it's complete. You're more than welcome to go in and experience it. And at some point in uh, the not too distant future, I'm going to be giving this entire project to the community. You're more than welcome to come and get on. When you pull up, you just have to get on. You just have to get on before those uh, doors close.